Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's uh, 628 2020, Sunday night. So I thought I'd do another video. Um, I um, made another video before this that I had to delete because they're sitting there hitting me. They're sitting there hitting me. I can barely spit out a word. That's how bad they're hitting me. You know, they can do things like that, they can block your thinking. They can make it so you can barely pronounce a word. You know? It's amazing what they can do and what they will do um, to uh, stagger, you know, I mean, I don't know if that's the right word, but, you know, they can, uh, you know, <laughs> make it so you can't, you can't talk. You can't think. They block your thinking. They can block your memory. If you think of something, they can block that. You know, so you can't think of what you're trying to say or what you were going to, what you were going to talk about. You know, and all this stuff. Um, you know, so I've been getting nailed all day today, twelve, thirteen hours. Um, doing kind of behavioral frequencies on me, bringing up behaviorals, making me feel uncomfortable, um, agitated. Um, you know, <laughs> it, to be, I don't know how else to describe it, but they can make you feel like you're going to jump out of your skin. You know? It's not a good feeling at all. They have all kinds of frequencies they use on us, okay? You know, and all this stuff. So I was uh, trying to ground myself, trying to shield a little bit by grounding myself. Well, my grounding rods outside weren't even hooked up. I don't know if the dogs disconnected them or whatever, but the wires were like under the ground and all this stuff. So I had to go out there and hook up a wire and run it into the house up to my room, um, a fresh wire. Um, so I could try to ground myself. Is it working? I don't know. You know, I know some TIs are against, uh, they're against, uh, grounding. But, when you have that stress built up in your body, and you ground, you can, uh, I swear to God, you can feel that, that stress leave your body. You can feel that stress leave your body. And you'll feel calmer. You know, I swear to God. Um, when I was getting hit super hard, um, uh, I went out to the backyard. We, we don't have much of a backyard. It's all dirt, you know, dirt and rocks and all this stuff. Um, I went out there to do something. I don't know, let dogs in or whatever. I was barefoot. And as soon as I stood out on the dirt, I felt this, like, trying. I felt a relief. Electronic stress leave my body. So it does work. Do I have it built up? I don't know because I'm growing to myself and all this stuff. I'm not feeling it leave my body like, you know, like before. So maybe I am grounded. I don't know. You know, it's such a, you know, and then you got their mind tricks on top of it, okay? You know, you they want you to think something's working when it's really not working. You will know, do that for a couple days and, you know, it's all mind games, mind tricks on you, you know, where they want you to think something's working when it's really not working at all, you know. So they'll mess with your thinking a little bit. Well, this might be working, uh, you know, and then they hit you, you know, and it's not working at all. You know, that's just part of it, um, part of this program. So... Do you guys see the mylar I have on my window right there? Um, I got tortured for two weeks. Two weeks for putting that piece of mylar up on my window. I got tortured for two weeks. It doesn't do a darn thing. But I got tortured for two weeks for putting that up. The only reason why I leave it up, it doesn't do anything. The only reason why I leave it up is because it blocks the sun. 
you know, and I don't have curtains. So that's the only reason why I break, I leave that up, you know. So um, another thing is, too, is when, um, this was about three years ago, um, I was going to buy a truck. I was looking at a truck to buy. I went up, it was about a half hour away, went up, looked at a truck, they had the people involved up there. Um, looked at this truck, you know, thinking, oh, I'm not going to buy it. It needs tires, it needs all kinds of work and all this stuff. Um, it needs work, you know, so I'm not interested in it. So, me and my relatives stopped to get something to eat on the way back. They started nailing me, head gripping, head gripping. It felt like a vice grip on your head at the restaurant, you know. So, um, I got tortured for two weeks because I went to look at a truck that I was going to buy. I got tortured for two weeks, you know. These guys are, I don't know what you want to call them, um, You know, uh, you know, it's, it's, this program can be confusing. It can be misconception. Um, you know, are only the research teams doing the torture? I don't believe that. Um, you know, are the researchers only doing the torture? I don't know. I don't believe that. Um, I've seen people driving a thousand dollar car uh, hit me with a radiation gun, poured so much radiation into our house, and I was the only one home with the dogs. So much radiation, I was ready to throw up. You know, you know how a cancer patient goes to treatment and gets radiation? They feel, you know, after the treatment, they feel like they're going to throw up because of the exposure, overexposure of radiation. It makes you want to feel throw, like you're going to throw up. That's what I felt like. Um... They were hitting me with a radiation gun in my house with my dogs. And this guy was driving a thousand dollar car. He wasn't anything special. You know? So are they teaching these lowlifes how to do some of this stuff? It's possible. It's possible they could be doing that. You know, I had to I had to get the dogs and myself out of the house because it was like a chemical coming into my house. It was radiation. It was like a chemical. Everyone, my dogs and myself, our stomachs were getting upset like we were going to throw up. That's how strong the radiation was that they put into my house. You know? So, you know, who's doing this? You know, I'm wondering who's doing this to me. Is it? Is it the researchers? Is it the doctors? I don't know. Are they sitting there 24-7 doing this to me? I don't know. You know, um, or are they teaching these low-level people how to do basic things? You know, like Dr. Duncan says um, in his book, he says this uh, software is so simplified a monkey could operate the software. A monkey could operate the software. You know, he interviewed a handler or an operator, as he called it, I believe. Interviewed an operator. You know, the, the guy's like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I'm doing what I'm told. I don't care. I don't care. I'm doing what I'm told. So, 
are they uh, using low level people to operate these weapons? I don't know. It's possible, okay? I think I'm running out of storage. I better cut this off pretty quick. Um, I've been through it all, you guys. You know, I'm still going through it. Why they hate me so hard and all this stuff, I have no idea. You know, you know, I don't know. You know, you, you know, I agree with Brian too. What he, when he says you can't negotiate with a computer. You know, you can't submit to a computer. Uh, you know, I totally agree with that. You know, I know a lot of this stuff is AI, but I also think they can do some stuff manually. You know, they can do some stuff manually to control the AI. You know, maybe the AI can be controlled a little bit where, where, you know, they're doing certain things, you know. So, anyway, I want to talk about that stuff a little bit. I'm going to cut this off. Uh, I'm going to cut this off. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe out there. Um, I know you guys are getting nailed. I'm getting nailed. There's people on Facebook that are getting nailed. I don't know what's going on. Um, we don't deserve this, you guys. We don't deserve this one bit. You know, we're good people. We're not criminals. We're very good people, and we're getting tortured for no reason other than research. You know? You know, it's... It's sickening. You know, I'm sick. I've been sick to my stomach all day today because we don't deserve this. You know? I mean... We don't deserve this. We're good people, you know. So hang in there, you guys, and I will talk to you later.